We're going to talk about halves in this video. We're at lesson 12.9. We can separate a shape into two equal shares. It'll have two equal parts that are the same size. We have one whole circle, and if we separate it into two equal shares, we'll have a half circle and a half circle. We'll have two halves. A half circle is smaller than a whole circle. This half circle right here is smaller than that whole circle, isn't it? We need two of them to make a whole circle. So these two together, these two halves, make that whole. And a half circle is also called a semicircle. That's another name for it. We can draw a line to show halves. We have some squares here, and there's many different ways that we can separate a square into halves. We can draw a line going from side to side, and that would cut it in half, right? I can make my line a little bit better so it's really half. How about that? That's much better, isn't it? We can also go vertically up and down, and we can cut the square into two separate equal shares, two halves. We could go from a vertex to a vertex, like that. And we can also go in the other direction, from this vertex to this vertex. And those are halves of a square. For a triangle, we can draw a line straight from this top vertex to the base, right? Let's make my line better. We can go from this vertex to the center of that line, and we can go from this vertex to the center of that line. That's if all the sides are the same length, some triangles don't have sides that are the same length. For a rectangle, we can draw a line coming right down the middle like that, horizontally. We could separate it by drawing a line here and making halves. And we can go from this vertex to this vertex, just like we did for the square. And we can go from the other vertex down. That would make equal shares. That would make halves. And we can do it for a trapezoid. We can draw a line going straight down the middle like that. Is there any other way that we could make a trapezoid separated into equal shares? Well, if we draw a line going this way, then the top is going to be small and the bottom is going to be big. That'll be shorter and that'll be longer, wouldn't it? If we drew a line coming down this way on an angle, would it be the same? If we went like this, would they both have the same shape? Hmm. No, this one is long and skinny, and look at this one. So they're not the same, are they? That won't work. And if we went straight across like that, that one's small and that one's long, so that one doesn't work either. But we could cut it like this, right, and separate it. Okay? This picture shows two halves. The two equal shares make one whole. We have a half and a half, and together they make one whole. One half, when we have one, it's got an F. Two halves, the F turns into a V-E-S, when we have more than one. The plural, which means more than one, of half is halves. The F turns into a V-E-S. 
halves are equal shares, circle the shapes that show halves. Does this show two equal shares of a square? Yes, it does, doesn't it? So we can circle that one. Does this show two equal shares of a rectangle? Yes, that does too, doesn't it? Does this show two equal shares of a rectangle? Hmm, that's a big side and that's a little side, so no, those aren't equal. Here we have a semicircle. Does this show equal shares of the semicircle? Yes, it does. It's got it cut right in half. It's separated right in half, isn't it? So those are equal shares of this shape. Circle the shapes that show halves. Does that show equal shares, halves? No, because there's a big side and a little side. Does that show halves? This square here? Yes, it does. Does this triangle show halves? No. We have a little triangle and then we have a trapezoid, so that doesn't show halves. What about this one? Does that show equal shares, halves? No. We have a little triangle and a big triangle, so they're not equal. How about this circle? Does this show halves? If you said yes, you're right. What about this rectangle? Does that show halves? Yes, it does. It's got a line going down the middle, like that, splitting it into two equal shares. What about this trapezoid? Does that show equal shares, halves? Yes, it does. What about this semicircle? Does this semicircle show equal shares? Yes, it does too. How about this triangle? Does the triangle show equal shares? Yes, it does. The line is coming right down the middle. What about this semicircle? Does this show equal shares? Does this show halves? No. They don't look like equal parts, do they? What about that square? Does that show halves? Remember, halves have to be equal shares. No. That's a little piece and a big piece, isn't it? So those aren't halves. So when we see a half of a shape, we write it as a one, and this is called the fraction bar, and on the bottom we put a two. And what this means is half, that's how you write half as numbers, the top number means it, how many parts it is, and the bottom number means how many equal parts there are. So this rectangle is split into two equal parts, that's why there's a green two, and if we have only one of them, if we have only one of the equal parts, we have one out of the two parts, see? It's one part of the two equal parts. For the circle, this right here would just be one of the two equal parts of the circle, see? This would be another one of two equal parts of the circle. Together, they make the whole circle, okay? So two halves together make one whole. How much of each shape has color? How much of this triangle has color? Half of it or the whole shape? Well, if you said the whole shape, you're right because the whole thing is colored in, isn't it? How much of this square has color? Half of it or the whole shape? Well, only this part's colored green, so that would be half of it, wouldn't it? Now here's a tricky one. See if you can answer this one. How much of this shape has color? 
half of the shape or the whole shape? If you said the whole shape, you're right. It's cut in half, but both of them have color, so the whole thing has color, doesn't it? Okay. Our next lesson, we're going to talk about fourths. That's when we split a shape into four equal parts. That's going to be lesson 12.10. Keep practicing with things that are separated into halves and see how many things you can separate in half. You can look at pictures in a magazine or you could even draw some shapes yourself and see if you can draw a line to make halves. Keep going. I'm proud of you and I'll see you next time. Bye.